King Neptune Ceremony for Crossing the Equator. This is the temporary mock-up of the front cover of my new book. Coming soon, Dad's War Photos, Adventures in the South Pacific, based on the 800 pictures my father took in World War II. For more information and to be notified when the book is published, sign up at dadswarphotos.com. Hey, Facebook fans, like our page at facebook.com forward slash dadswarphotos for exclusive behind-the-scenes content. Well, from Geiger Field, he was transported to San Francisco. They boarded the ship, and on May 9th, they were nearing the equator. On May 11th, it says, according to the official military record, they crossed the equator. There is a centuries-old ceremony held aboard Navy ships when someone crosses the equator for the first time. It is called King Neptune Holding Court. This occurred on May 12, 1943. And this is a quote directly from the military record. The officers went through initiation ceremonies that left them soaking wet and holding their sore backs. The EM, which stands for enlisted men, went through a scalping process that left half the battalion with the weirdest looking hairdos ever seen anywhere before. All officers and enlisted men that went through the initiation process received a certificate proclaiming them to be members in good standing of the court of King Neptune. Would you like to see this certificate? Here it is. This is the certificate that my dad got in May of 1943. He folded it up into a small little size and he stuck it in his duffel bag and he brought it back home in well, December 1945 and had it framed. And then I took it recently, took it out of that old frame and had it scanned, then had it reframed. So let me show you portion by portion. I have these different areas enlarged and blown up so that you could see all the different parts of this document. All of these different things here I have to show you. In the top left corner there is a dragon. Then there is the image of King Neptune and his aides in their chariot powered by some horses. Here is the top banner. It says Domain of Neptunus Rex. Top right corner is another image of a dragon. In the bottom left there is the seal of Davy Jones, His Majesty's Scribe. In the bottom center is the eagle and flag. The bottom right, we have the signature of Neptunus Rex. And if you look closely, the signature is made up of a fish and a snake or an eel. And his title is Ruler of the Raging Main. Then we have a mermaid in the bottom right corner. And this is the wording. And I can read this for you if you want. To all sailors, wherever you may be, and to all mermaids, sea serpents, whales, sharks, porpoises, dolphins, skates, eels, suckers, lobsters, crabs, polywogs, and other living things of the sea, greeting, know ye 
that on this 12th day of May 1943, there appeared within the limit of our royal domain, the USS Mount Vernon, bound southward for the equator. Be it remembered that the said vessel and officers and crew thereof have been inspected and passed on by ourself and our royal staff, and be it known by all ye sailors, marines, landlubbers, and others who may be honored by his presence, that Charles C. Bertrand, having been found worthy to be numbered as one of our trusty shellbacks, has been gathered to our fold and duly initiated into the solemn mysteries of the ancient order of the deep. Be it further understood that by virtue of the power invested in me, I do hereby command all my subjects to show due honor and respect to him whenever he may enter our realm. Disobey this order under penalty of our royal displeasure. Given under our hand and seal this twelfth day of May, Neptunus Rex. Here is a close-up of the USS Mount Vernon, the ship that he was on. And here is the final document framed and on my wall. Thanks for watching. Thank you.